Ladies and gentlemen, Silent Mike back with another video. A special little series we're doing with the one and only Omar Isoff and Mr. Train Untamed, Alan Thrall. We're going over squat bench deadlift with what's supposed to be a beginner. But my man's here benching 250 pounds, so he's lying to us. Uh, kind of a beginner. Yeah, so some experience. How long uh, How long you been lifting? Uh, about a year and a half. All right, a year and a half. So yeah. a little bit past pure beginner stage, probably somewhere in the intermediate. It uh, doesn't really matter. So we might get a little more technical than some of the other videos where the guys were a little bit more beginner. Uh, you can check those out. Omar and Alan's uh, channel right now are live. Um, we're working up to here. We got 185. We might go up a little bit. But let's uh, have you do just three reps, see what it looks like, and, and then I'll uh, critique you a little bit. Nice. So again, if we're talking about pure beginner, um, we get a little more, more complex the stronger we get because once you have the basics down, you start to get some load in there. Uh, not only do you get stronger, but you get more efficient at the movement you're doing, uh, but then you can start to nitpick and get a little bit more um, technical. Uh, overall, looks great. Um, one thing we're gonna try to uh, practice, and I think you even might have told Alan uh, that sometimes maybe you feel like a little unstable. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, and it happens. Uh, and that's kind of where this like leg drive stuff starts to come into play uh, and having a tight back. So. Um, don't change anything major. What we're going to try to do is uh, pull our sternum up as high as you freaking can and really focus in on squeezing that back. Just try to really pinch my hands. Okay. Yep. And you're going to bench off of that. Okay. Now what we're going to do is take your shoes, your feet. We can go ahead and lay down. Go ahead and set up. Set up. Uh, yeah, there you go. And really squeeze that back as, as much as you can. Even more. Even more. Keep it squeezed. I'm going to give you a lift off so you don't lose it. And now what I want you to do is picture flexing your quads like a knee extension. And you're gonna push yourself back that way onto your traps. So you're gonna push yourself that way. There you go, just like, there you go, that's it. Okay. That sensation, so you're gonna shove your toes through the front of your shoe, almost like a knee extension, and you're gonna push yourself back onto that really tight back onto your traps, and that's gonna allow the uh, shoulders to be a little bit more stable. Our shoulders are our most uh, mobile joint, right? We gotta reach, we gotta do all these things. So what we wanna try to do is try to pinch them down and back, and we're gonna try to plant ourselves into that bench. So push that motion even harder the whole time. There you go. I'll give you a little lift off. Try not to overpress on the lift off. Ready? One, two, three. Push yourself onto your traps. There you go. Get three reps. Good. Keep pushing in your feet. Push yourself this way. There you go. Not bad. There's a couple ways you can do it depending on how long you are, meaning how long your femurs are. Um, one way is having your feet in front of you. You always want to have your knees below your hips. Okay. So if you look from the side here, Connor, just because uh, one, you gotta keep your bed on the, uh, butt on the bench if you wanna power lift. Yeah. And even if you don't wanna necessarily compete in power lifting, um, having the three points of contact, your traps, your butt, and your feet on the ground will allow you to be more stable overall. So if I'm something like this, now my knee is above my hip, yeah. and as soon as I try to press myself this way, my hips are just gonna shoot up, yeah. right? So if you're short, I'm short. <laughs> I can just shove my feet down and then I'm gonna push myself this way. That's the motion we're going for. Another option is, depending on how mobile you are and what federation you compete in, they have different rules. You can tuck your feet underneath you and then you'll still press down. So another option is something like this. And then you can have your heels up and still push yourself this way. Does that make sense? So for you, um, let's try just tucking your feet in just a little bit more. So go ahead and set up. There you go. Really squeeze that back. Really squeeze that back. Now let's have you tuck them in even more. Even more. There you go. Now push your heels into the ground. There you go. And then push yourself that way. There you go. Even more, even more. Try to put, there you go. The entire time, flex your quads like you're, you're stressing as hard as you can. Ready? One, two, three. There. Squeeze the bar tight. Three reps. You got it. Squeeze those quads. Good. Good. Feel a little more stable? Yeah. yeah, the biggest thing is, um, and it takes time and it takes practice, yeah. uh, but flexing your quads, extending that knee, pushing yourself under your traps, and as tight as you can keep that back. Um, overall, it looks really, really good. Uh, you want to go up a little bit? Yeah. Let's throw, um, let's throw like 10s on. Got one.
Yeah, that's the only thing I could see that uh, is something you can continue to focus on. Like yeah, out. yeah, and exactly. You just want to keep pushing yourself onto your traps. Okay. Yeah, I heard like you have to put it on the back side. You know, traps. Usually, a lot, a lot of people like to do it on the back. Uh, in terms of like contact on the bench. Yeah. Um, maybe. Uh, it, it'll depend on the size of the person, the size of your arms, and all that. Where the actual contact will be. Um, but the goal is to continue to push yourself on your high trap. Okay. If that makes sense. Does that makes sense. So, because not only. Um, we want to keep your legs stable, right? And we're a big connected piece here. So if that's stable, I'll be more stable here. Um, but two, it'll allow you to arch a little bit more. It'll pull that chest up. Um, and we don't want to just arch for arcing sake. Like there's no reason for that. But uh, as, uh, as much as we can reduce range of motion to maybe lift a little bit more weight and be more stable. And two, as much as I can keep that shoulder tucked in, because um, as soon as we're out here, now I'm just going to be immobile. It's out, basically out of the socket. But if I can keep it here and then with my feet, keep it planted there, keep pushing this way, we'll just be a little bit more uh, stable as well. Okay. Yeah, let's try it again. Okay. So remember with your feet, you're basically going to push against me. So push, push your, try to push me. Yeah, that's it. There you go. That's what you're going to try to do the whole time. Now the, the pad and your, uh, the bar is what's going to keep you in place. But that's the sensation. Push against me. That's the sensation we want. So push against the bar a little bit so you don't move and then keep that pushing sensation as hard as you can. Ready? One, two, three. Good, push onto your traps, push onto your traps. Good, drive hard, easy. Keep pushing, keep driving this way. Good, easy, easy, nice. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. That's the exact sensation, and then it just takes it's time. A little less shaky. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah, because otherwise you're just kind of laying on the bench, yeah. rather than you want to be driving your traps into the bench. Um, and the weight, and your feet are the only thing making you not move, basically. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a little more weight. Let's just add fives. See how we can do it. Any questions or anything? Yeah? yeah. Good. Take a little breather. Last piece and just like continuing to find tightness. Everyone uses the cue like get tight. What does that mean? Um, for the bench, Squeezing the bar, we start as our hands. Squeezing the bar as tight as you can. You say white knuckles, whatever it is. Uh, just never hurts. One, for safety, having a good grip on the bar. Two, if we're uh, surrounding muscles flexed, we'll hopefully be able to um, utilize every muscle fiber we can. So might as well squeeze your forearm, so then your triceps, so then your shoulder, and everything else is going to fire. Uh, push against this is better, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Up. Yeah. Um, back being tight. That's going to be the biggest thing in the bench. Um, it's very similar to the squat. The tighter you can keep your upper back, uh, the more your lats and midline are just going to be more stable. Uh, as much as we can uh, secure all of this, the more stable we're going to be. And then legs are the last piece. And you know, leg drive, people think you get an advantage in the lift. Uh, and there's different styles of benching. You can kind of figure it out on your own over time. But the biggest key is just to push yourself onto the trap and maintain a flex quad the whole time. Uh, again, if the, if the whole chain is, is flexed and stable, we're gonna be able to move more weight overall. Ready? Let's do it. Really squeeze that back. Dig into your feet, push yourself at me. There you go. There you go, push this way, remember. The whole time, keep going, keep going. That, just like that. You want the sensation almost that your butt's gonna come off. And it's all right if your butt comes off, we'll fix that later. So just push at me this whole time, even more. Yep, keep pushing, keep pushing. There, stay there. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Ready, one, two, three, squeeze the bar, push at me. Good, keep driving, keep driving. You got it, you got it. Good, keep going. You got one more. Big breath, push at me. Good, drive up and back. Easy, much better. Good, good stuff. Good stuff, dude, that, that was the best set yet. Uh, I know it didn't move as fast as you want, that just yeah. takes time and, and obviously we're on video and pushing our way through. Um, that's more practice. Yeah, yeah, but that sensation right there uh, of how you're driving and continuously driving, not only on the setup, but through the entire rep was perfect. Trying to think. No questions? Um, so far, like my back. Yeah. Kind of like. Just locking up? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that is just kind of part of it. Um, is there like any stretches, like warm up? Just warming up. Yeah. I already saw you warm up pretty good, but 
Um, you want to, you know, warming up is you want to get yourself prepped without getting yourself fatigued. Uh, so I like to do some kind of general, whether it's like lunges, walking, treadmill. I ride that bike for 10 minutes. Um, and then you get more specific, a little bit of shoulder, whatever. Um, you can try wearing a belt. Uh, some people mock it, but wearing a belt on the bench, same idea as wearing a belt on any other lift. As much as we can kind of brace and flex into our midsection uh, and the whole unit of our body is tight, the better off we're going to be. Um, sometimes it can help a little low back pump or cramping because you are really driving into that yeah, thing. It's, it's like upper, yeah. Like that side yeah, yeah. Up, yeah, it just happens. Sadly, just part of the game. Uh, being, being in the, the strongest position with this fixed barbell isn't always the most comfortable position. You know, sometimes it's gonna happen. And especially, I mean, that's the hard part of like uh, doing a powerlifting meet, is you gotta get in a weird funky position, stress your legs and back. Now you gotta come here, stress your legs back and chest, and then you gotta go pull the legs back. It's a little bit part of the challenge, um, but totally normal, totally normal just to feel a little tightness. Okay, how are my wrists? Like I think I'm good. Yeah, um, there's a lot of talk about perfect wrist position. I think getting in his palm as much as you can, um, and as long as it's fairly stacked on your wrist and elbow, you'll be all right. Um, biggest thing is you just don't want it in like these knuckles where it's way behind the barbell. But uh, a little bit of like wrist can move. It's fine. Your wrist can move as long as the barbell. Um, it's not so much wrist position, but it's more barbell position that matters. If that makes sense. Right yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really like, I mean, there's a big old bone right here, and that often feels best and strongest if I can line it up with that. Okay. Um, but as long as the barbell is not in your fingers, you should be fine. Okay. And again, that might change over time too, you know? Every six months, my stuff tends to change a little bit. Yeah, just like that. There you go. Even more. Really push yourself this way. Just like, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There, do that. Push your butt off the bench if you have to. We'll figure it later again. Keep pushing at me. Push at me, push at me, push at me. Good, ready? One, two, three. Squeeze the bar tight. Let's get five. Control up, push yourself on your traps. There you go. Nice, keep pushing. Flex those legs. Nice. You got it. Nice, man. Easy work. Uh, tight upper back. Squeeze your hands. Knees below your hips just so we can keep that butt on the bench. And then you're driving yourself upwards onto your traps as much as you can. Check out the videos. Omar Isaf, Alan Thrall. Appreciate you. Salam Mike. Right here.